How's it? My name is Dylan and it's been a while. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync multiple video files with an audio file in Premiere Pro. I was recently in Zambia and I was filming a conference and I'm kind of here back with all the footage. I had an audio recorder plugged into the sound desk. I had a fixed camera that was locked on to the people talking and I had a roaming camera that was doing cutaways for the highlight video, but also if there was people from the audience talking, then I would be filming them with that camera as well. So if you look at my project, I've got the sound desk from the audio. I have the static camera, got the roaming camera. So the tricky part is to now sync everything up together. If you just had a single audio file and a single video file, it's super easy to do, but I'm assuming you are here because you have a more complex kind of situation. My audio files got split into four different files by the recorder, even though it was a single recording. The fixed camera also has multiple different files and the roaming one has a lot of different files. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is create a sequence with all the audio in it together. So this will just be the audio from the sound disk. So I'm just gonna basically drag the sound into make a new sequence. And I'm just gonna take the other ones in order. So one, two, and three, and put them after each other. So here we have all the audio in one go. So if the recorder didn't split the audio, it would be all together like this anyway. So I'm just going to rename this so that it's easy to see. And we're gonna call this all audio. All right, so now our first step is I'm going to select all of the static ones and then go down to the sequence that I made, which is the all audio. And I'm gonna go and right click and say, create multicam sequence. I think this is all what is default, but if you wanna have a look to see what it looks like, but I'm not really changing anything. And I'm gonna call this all audio and static camera. Let's call it like that. And let's say, okay. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna sync up all these videos to my audio source. Okay, so now it's created this, it's not actually a timeline or a sequence, it's a, it's a multi-cam sequence. Um, but there are so many different cameras, I'm not gonna be using this as a multi-cam, this is just a way to actually sync them together. So in, in order to put it back into a timeline, you also can't go and just drag it into a new timeline because you just get a single file and you can't see the different camera angles, only in like the multi-cam sort of like view of it. So I'm just gonna delete that again. So how you get it into a sequence is you can right click and you scroll down to where it says open in timeline, click that. And now you can see, okay, here's all of the files. And then to make things easier is you right click on here and you say simplify sequence. And let's just call this audio and static camera again. What this is gonna do is it's just gonna bring all the clips down into the same line. It hasn't done it for audio, so for that, you can go and highlight all the audio, just unlink it, which is Command L or Control L, and then like delete all the audio, and I've got the video. I can just bring the original audio back up to the top. All right, so now we've synced all the audio from the sound disk, which was the four different files, and we've synced that with the, all the locked off cameras. This could be potentially all that you need to do if you just had a locked off camera with multiple shots and audio files that are multiple ones, that could be where you're done. But now I've got all my cutaways that I also wanna put on. So to do that, it's a very similar process. You've got now the sequence that you created with, which is this one, the audio and the, and the static camera. Then, you select that one and then you go to all the cutaways, which is this one for me. And you're gonna highlight all the cutaways. Okay, I've got all of them now together. Let me just, so I'm gonna highlight all the cutaways and then highlight the sequence, which is this one here. And then we do the same thing again. So we'll right click, create multicam sequence. And we're gonna call that all audio and static and B-roll. This is gonna take a bit longer. It depends how many cutaways you have. Also probably depends on the specs of your computer and all that kind of stuff, but I'll fast forward past this as well. All right, now we, it has created another one of these multicam sequences and we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to right click and say, um, open in timeline. 
And then now it's got, you see all the B-roll shots here. So you right click on it again, uh, click simplify sequence and let's give it its name again. So we'll call this, now I'm gonna call it project one synced because this is probably where I'm gonna actually start editing on. All right, so now we've got all these audio files again, which we need to unlink. So I'm just gonna highlight all of those, unlink them and then highlight them again so I can delete them. Because those are all the audio files from the, from the roaming camera. And now because I actually want this the other way around, I'm just gonna highlight all the video files and put it above it. Just make sure that that's zero so it doesn't shift it up. And now I can bring everything back down again. Right, so now we've got the audio synced and we have, let's just check how this looks. So we have her talking here. There we go. So now they are synced. She unfortunately walked almost out of the shot here, but it's fine. I had this one here. Um, so now all my, basically all my cutaways are also synced. So there was a part where the audience was asking questions and those are all nicely synced already. So I can cut between the question that they were asking and then going to the person. Yeah, but basically that is how you sync a lot of video clips to a single audio and also how you solve the problem from if you do have multiple audio files that the recorder kicked out um, how to sync it how to put it all together and sync it with all the video clips so hope that was helpful um, let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in the next video